Welcome to Behind the Bid. My name is Emily Einichner. Today we're at Blankensop Sewing Machine Repair with owner Bill Blankensop. Bill, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. You have been doing this for quite some time. How long have you been doing sewing machine repair? I started in uh, 83. Um, March of 83, actually. <laughs> to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. how did you get started? Well, uh, my father-in-law was working at Hancock, or at that time it was called Minnesota Fabrics, but uh, he was working at, uh, he was doing the machine repair and he needed some help. And uh, where we were living in Texas, my wife decided it was time to move, so. And how long have you been on Greenfield Avenue? Uh, actually, since uh, 07, uh, I opened up a small little shop inside of Kim's Costumes. Uh, when we were on, on 71st and Greenfield. And what do you like about being in West Dallas? West Dallas is a central location for most of uh, my customers. Um, when I worked for Hancock Fabrics, I had uh, six stores inside the city. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two on the south side and four on the north side. And uh, we had uh, Glendale, where, where that new mall is, that wiped out that one store. We were on uh, Times Square and we were on Good Hope and we were in West Dallas and also in uh, 27th and Loomis. So. so in addition to sewing machine repair, you also do knife and scissor sharpening. Correct. So yeah. how long have you been doing that for? Uh, the same amount of time. It, it, it went uh, with uh, the sewing machine repair at Hancock Fabrics. Uh, scissors and all that just sort of came along with uh, learning the trade of uh, repairing sewing machines. So do you have any tips for anybody at home that has a sewing machine that they can keep it in working order? The number one thing on sewing machines is, is to change your needles every eight hours of sewing, which is approximately every two garments. And then to use the right needle for the right garment will will also help prolong your machine and also the right thread. So if somebody brings in their sewing machine, about how long is the turnover for you to fix it? Um, the average turnover right now is about 24 hours if it's just a basic cleaning, oiling and adjusting, or if it needs minor repairs and tweaking, we can do it within 24 hours. And how often would you suggest someone brings in their sewing machine for the tune-up? Uh, I, my, recommendation on that is a little different than a lot of other people. Some people will say every year. I say between every three to five years, closer to two to four would, would be good depending on your comfort with it. And also when the machine starts making noise that it hadn't made before, it's a good time to just bring it in and have it checked out. Obviously there are tons of sewing machines on the market, so you must have to have a wide knowledge of all these different sewing machines? Uh, believe it or not, as, not as wide as you would think because every sewing machine, the, I, I'm really locked in on certain machines because I don't do industrials. Mm -hmm. I don't do multi-stitch uh, needle machines and stuff like that. I do basically the consumer's uh, machines. So the like in-home? The, yeah, the domestic type of machines. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of those, the needle has to go up and down, mm -hmm. and the thread has to be caught from underneath. So they all have that function. Mm -hmm. uh, they do it a little differently. Uh, they're threaded a little differently. And sergers I do also work on, which have four threads or five threads and two needles and two loopers or, or three loopers. Um, but once you get used to it, it it's fairly, fairly standardized on what you have to know to get them to work. Well, some of the machines on the market, they'll come with a warranty if you buy them. Mm -hmm. So if something happens to the machine in that time period, would you suggest they still bring them here? Should they take them to the manufacturer? No, I would take it back to the dealer that sold you the machine. Now, if you got it on Amazon or something like that, then yeah, bring it in here because, the, you know. But uh, most of the dealers, if they sell the machine, will warranty their own machines. And also, all the work I do on the machines, I do guarantee all my work for a year. Most, most places are uh, around 90 days. And I feel that's a little short on, uh, on a warranty because a customer will bring in a machine, mm -hmm. get it fixed, put it aside for a couple months before they even use it. Mm -hmm. And to only have a, then you're down to a 30-day warranty as compared to so whenever someone picks up the machine, I tell them to 
use it hard right away. You're a small business yep. in the downtown. Um, yep. So why would you encourage someone to shop local? Believe it or not, a lot of my customers uh, who find me on, on the internet, I am on the internet, uh, do like that I'm a local small business. They, they look for that actually. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I think they like the one-on-one -on -one, uh, contact they get with a sm small business. Mm -hmm. Because they actually, when they come in here, they're talking to the person that works on their machine. There's no middle person deflecting any problems. Yeah. And every customer that comes back, unfortunately I do have returns, <laughs> I believe them. I don't say it's their fault or, or, or you know, they're doing something wrong or, or anything like that. They're not carrying this machine because of they want their health. Right. They're bringing it back because there is a problem. Yeah. Whether it's them or us or, or a combination, we will get it fixed. So if somebody needs to bring in a machine for repair, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can call me. Uh, I, my number is uh, 414. 322-1582. Also, they can email me at uh, B-L-E-N-K-I-N-S-P-S -S at hotmail.com. 7137 West Greenfield Avenue. Oh. First of all, I want to thank Bill for taking the time to sit with us today. Oh, my pleasure. And again, my name is Emily Einickner. I'm with the Downtown West Dallas Business Improvement District. We're at Blankensop Sewing Machine Repair, and we'll see you next week on Behind the Bed.